<sighs> there. She's ready. Ah, she stirs. To Curthus, and an audience with the Harpy Queen Garuda. Enterprise, engage. Damn it. Ah, oh, I... I once flew in this airship, and I was not alone. There were adventurers on board, adventurers like you. Just how long have I worn these damn goggles? Ah, <laughs> yes. I fancied myself a trendsetter in my younger days. A young prodigy, admired by all, exactly like his father. Born and raised in Garlemald. It was only natural that the precocious young student should become an engineer. Had his father not done the same? F 
Father, when did we stop seeing eye to eye? When did Meteor become your everything, and your loved ones cease to matter? You abandoned us all. But he was there for me, father. There for me when you were not. Though he proved no better in the end. Gaius was just another man, with an all-consuming obsession. And so I ran, left the Empire behind, and came to Eorzea, where I built the ironworks. Yes, it was then that I first donned these goggles. Eorzea opened my eyes. It was home to so many manner of people, each with their own hopes and dreams. People weren't saving, and so I fought beside them. I wanted to prove that my knowledge could serve a nobler purpose. I wanted to prove that there was another way. And it all began that day when I found my new home. I had forgotten how wonderful it was. The wind in your hair, the endless sky. That light. It was you, wasn't it? It's surprising how few people know this, but all pure-blood guardians have a third eye. Perhaps mine helped me recognize you, or perhaps it was just a lucky guess. The Enterprise was made for this, to carry Eorzea's protectors into battle. I am proud to be able to call her my own. Sid? What exactly do you remember? Alphenord, my boy. Sorry to have been such a burden. I remember everything. My name, my people, and my purpose. Everything. Come, it would be rude to keep Garuda waiting. 